Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Hello, my wonderful writers. I'm so excited you are here with me today, and I hope you are excited too to be here. Actually, I can't wait to start our daily routine. So I need your help. Let's start with the days of the week. So how many days do we have in the week? Seven days. Well done. So are you ready to say them? Here we go. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But I wonder what day is it today? Hmm, I'm gonna help you. So yesterday was Wednesday. So today is Thursday, Thursday all day long. Well done, you did it. So now let's move to the date. I need your help. So today is April 9, 2020. Well done. So as usual, Prepare your papers. Please write the day and date. Well done. Please sit properly because we are about to start the lesson of today. It's English time and today we are going to write. So look at the boy. He's sitting properly, preparing his papers and pencils. So I want you also to do the same. So, here we go. Are you ready to start the lesson? Yay! I know you are ready. So, if you look over here, you can see something written, right? So, what is it? I'm going to give you some time. Yes, writing. Writing. So, today we are going to write. And this is the title of the lesson. We're going to write personal narrative. Personal narrative. So, some of you will say, what does this mean? Yeah, and today we're going to find out what does this title mean. Personal narrative. Personal narrative. Okay, so... Let's go over here and look at the objectives. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the key features of narrative writing. Also, you can plan and organize ideas by using notes and a graphic organizer. So let's start the lesson to understand what do all these things mean? So there is a video and let's watch the video together. Here we go. So everyone, here's the video. I want you to be focused and pay attention because this video will be talking about how to write a personal narrative. So, if you want to know how to write a personal narrative, you need to listen carefully. So, let's go ahead and watch the video. Are you ready? Yes. Writing a Personal Narrative Episode 1 Brainstorm Did you know what a personal narrative is? A personal narrative is a true story about your life. So everyone pay attention. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. So you are going to write about something that happened to you. You can write about something that has happened to you. When we brainstorm, we think about all of the different things that we could write about. 
Brainstorming helps us find the best possible topic for our writing. When you brainstorm personal narrative topics, you can think about good memories you have about things that have happened to you, fun things that you've done with your family or friends, trips you have taken or special places you have visited, activities you have done at school. So everyone, as you can see here, you can write about, as I said so far, anything that happened to you, for example, good memories, fun activities, uh, places you have visited, or any school activity you have done. Or anything else that has happened to you in your life. It's important to choose a topic that you care about and remember lots of details about. This will help you write a great personal narrative. So here is my brainstorming sheet. I'm going to think of some things that I've done that I'd like to write about. I will draw a sketch and a few words to remember my ideas. Then I'm going to choose one idea that's my favorite. So first, I'm thinking I could write about when I played kickball at recess yesterday. That was super fun. Or, I could write about my birthday party last summer. I could tell about all the gifts I got, games we played. Hmm. I could also write about when my mom took me to the store this weekend and I got a new toy. Or, I could write about when I visited my grandparents for Christmas. Um, I could write about when I got my dog and I was so excited. Hmm. Or I could write about when I watched fireworks in the park on 4th of July. I've already brainstormed and chosen a topic for my story. So now I'm ready to plan and pre-write. I'm going to write about when I got my new dog. So first I need to think about what important things happened that I'm going to write about. I have four pages, so I'm going to think about what will go on each page. The first thing that happened was my mom told me I could get a dog. Then we went to the store because they had some dogs that needed to be adopted. Next, we looked at all the dogs and we chose the one that we wanted. And then last, we got the dogs some food and some toys on our way home. So everyone, if you look over here, you can see that the girl wrote, um, let me say, the story in order. So what happened first, then, next, and last. And you also need to organize your events in this way. So you need to write what happened first, then, next, and last. So everyone, here we go. So after watching the video, we get to know the features of a personal narrative. So it's written over here. Let's read them together. It tells a true story from the writer's life. So as I told you before, you will write about yourself, about something that happened to you. It uses words such as I, me, my, and we. It has a beginning, middle, and end. It uses time order words to tell events in order. Remember the words first, then, or let me say next, then, and last. So, task number one. Can you think about something that happened to you and you would like to write about? Write your ideas and draw sketches in the graphic organizer. So what you are going to do is to brainstorm and think about, let me say, things that happened to you and you would like to write about. So here you have six boxes. So let's write our ideas first. 
So I wrote some ideas. UEA National Day Celebration, school trip to Discovery Center or wherever, graduation party, and more. So now it's your turn to write your own ideas. And after that, choose one. So here, after you finish task one, choose your favorite idea that you can write about perfectly. So you will write about, this is your turn. Here, the closure, write two features of a personal narrative writing. So we can, we can say it is a true story about your life and it could be about something that happened to you. After completing your work, please don't forget to upload a picture or a video of it in your class dojo portfolio. Thank you everyone and have a nice day. Bye bye.